kids. We arranged for an apartment for them. Mr. Kaufman put them up in a sleazy apartment, and it was awful. Motley Crue lived on Clark Street, just a half a block above the whiskey. Tommy called me up, oh, you gotta see, you gotta see, we got our first apartment, you know. So I said, well, all right, what number is it? He goes, don't worry, you'll find it. The door was like coming off the hinges. Well, there was a mountain of beer cans outside. There was one plant in the corner, it was dead. It was pretty destroyed. The apartment was done. Every time they did a show, there was an after party. They'd announce on stage, hey, everybody, there's a party at the house tonight. Come on up the street. Next thing you know, half of LA is showing up. People just drinking. There's girls everywhere, wall-to-wall -wall girls. Blonde, big t little clothing. They all want Nikki Six. They want wearing their own half naked in there. I hated it. It was better than the Miss America beauty pageant or Hugh Hefner's swimming pool. I'd walk into rooms and just be astonished. I hadn't seen that kind of stuff in my life before. I would hear all the reports about them getting wilder and crazier. And then the cops had kicked down the door so many times that there was no more lock on the door. 